got his fly past. Uh, so let's head straight back to Sheffield and to Aincliffe Park where uh, Steph and Charlie are for us this morning with a very special programme here and some very special stories oh, from some very special guests. Morning to you both. Good morning to you, Ben. Yeah, it is quite the morning here, let me tell you. You can see there is, well, quite an enormous crowd now. As far as my eyes can see, I can see people who are gathered here today at Engley Park in Sheffield to commemorate 75 years after uh, the US aircraft crashed, killing 10 US servicemen. Yeah, so it's a, one of those uh, mornings of mixed emotions because it is a terrific atmosphere. And Tony's with us now. Tony has been attending at it. It is worth taking a moment, Tony, because every time we introduce you, there is so much love in this park for you today. For all this, the, the time you have spent over so many years in tribute to those ten young men. Yeah, yeah. guilt. You, the guilt you, time. You've said that many times that you feel a sense of guilt. Yeah. What, why is that? Can I give you an example? But say you were in a car, you kill someone, just one. How do you feel? Feel guilty. Multiply that ten times. But explain to people, Tony, because, yeah, and the, of course, let me introduce, these are the family members of, of the crew uh, who were this, this morning. Uh, and just explain that a little bit for us, because you were just a, a boy then. You were just a boy watching, playing with your friend. I'm not now. I'm not now. The guilt has got more. It took over my life more every year. Can I ask you one thing, Tony? Has, uh, and people will be listening really carefully about how you're describing your emotions today and what you call guilt. Is this helping you? Uh, you know, these people here today with the, the, the emotions that are on display. It's not for me. It's for them. Yeah. And by this is all about my loves. That's what it's all about. So well said. So well said. And, and, and you're referring back there to the, the image we've got, but also the memorial yeah. which you have visited every day. When you first got here this morning, the first thing you said was, I'm going to go and see my friends. Yeah. yeah. They're the family. They are, they are family to me. Well, speaking of family, let's introduce uh, Jim uh, Craigshauser, who's a nephew of uh, John, who was the pilot on that day. Very good morning to you. Megan Leo, his great niece, uh, uh, Lieutenant Melchior Hernandez. Uh, it's really touching, isn't it? Uh, when we, Tony says about, this feels like his family too now. It's a special day for you. It's, it's amazing. It just, I feel as if, I've just learned about this entire extended family in Sheffield that we'd never known about, um, that this memory is so... No, I'm going to stop you there yeah, because I understand yeah. the, the, the aircraft are visible oh, where we are. A minute and, away. Uh, we, have, we have three experts to talk us through the, the fly past itself. Uh, Colonel Will Marshall uh, and uh, Mark Skulko and Captain Blythe Crawford coming over now. Please talk us through events. So the first aircraft over is the Dakota. That is from the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight based at Oriel Coningsby. This one is in the colours of 233 Squadron, who uh, flew during World War II and were involved in uh, D-Day operations. on their aircraft. 
It is our honor to thank Mr. Tony Folds and the City of Sheffield for, pre for preserving the legacy of those brave men who tragically lost their lives 75 years ago today. Approaching now are F-15E Strike Eagles from the 48th Fighter Wing, also known as the Liberty Wing. These jets will be flying what's known as the Missing Man Formation, where the gap represented in the formation is to honor and represent the missing Van Diego crews and honor the sacrifice they made on this very field. Cemetery at Cambridge, where three of the Mia Mango crew members are laid to rest. May their sacrifice and those men never be forgotten. Responsible for it, obviously. 
Uh, Matt is at RAF Coningsby uh, for us this morning where some of those planes have travelled from. Matt, it worked out all right. It was good weather. I can't tell you how nervous I was this morning. Very good morning to the RAF Coningsby. Perfect conditions there, of course, in Sheffield for the uh, fly pass. But if you weren't with us early, it was touch and go here at Coningsby and at Lincoln Heath, where the other aircraft came from. There was some fog just as close to the uh, airfield. That was coming and going. That could have put a stop to the whole proceedings. But we have the weather gods on our side. The sunshine is out. It has been a perfect morning for it. So we're all very, very pleased here. Uh, there is still some fog around at the moment 